Hey guys, it's Landon with RH, and I'm going to do a video here for a few minutes uh, teaching you guys about uh, polylines in AutoCAD. Doing this video for my friend, Micamus Maximus. He was asking me about polylines today, so I thought I'd do a quick video for him. Hopefully, it'll help Nikki too. Uh, Alright, so <clears throat> let's talk about what a polyline is. So I've got BricsCAD open here. Same things, kind of things are going to apply in Carlson Survey. So if you want to draw a line, you can click multiple times, but after you exit out of the command with the enter key, what you get is multiple segments. So these lines aren't associated with each other in any way. Okay, they're individual segments. Okay. If you want them connected, which many times you do, you want to use a polyline. Okay, so a polyline, same process, but when you hit enter, you get the lines are connected. Okay, now, why is that handy? Let me show you why that's handy. Okay, by the way, if you take a poly like that and explode it, it goes to the individual segments. So let's say we, uh, let's just start over. And let's say we, we're drawing um, some center line of some, uh, let's say it's the top of a, of a bank of a creek. Okay, and uh, we know from some land use planning regulations that uh, there is a 40-foot no-build buffer along the top of the creek bank. Okay, so, and we want to draw that. Let's say we're doing a site plan. So you can do that with the offset command, right? So you say offset 40 feet. But notice what happens when these are line segments. We get all these overshoots and undershoots, right? Um, and that stinks. Now, you can fix that with the fillet command. Fillet, not fillet, as my friend Danny Connell pointed out to me. Uh, so you can come in here, whoop. you can uh, come in here and fill, fill it, all these lines, to get rid of the overshoots and the gaps. Okay. Alright, but there's an easier way. So if you draw this with a polyline, um, you can uh, just use an offset, a single offset, and you don't have to do all that. So. Now let's just say, so I'm going to show you how to do that, but let's say you've got some individual line segments that you want to turn into a polyline. Okay, so the way you do that is with the uh, P edit command. Okay, and I don't know if there is, if it's in the menu, because uh, I am a command line driven kind of guy. I don't know that it is. So I'll have to find out. I don't think it is in the, let's see if it's here. Okay, so for, for newbies uh, that aren't old like me, command line driven, uh, in BricsCAD, if you go under modify, edit polyline is what we want. Okay, now it gives you a choice here. You can select the first polyline or you can say M for multiple. We almost always do M for multiple. It says select your polyline. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these. Now, they're not polylines yet. They're just lines. So when I select them and hit enter, it's going to say, hey, your entities aren't polylines. Do you want to make them polylines? Yes, we do. Okay, now I've got a bunch of polylines. Okay, But we're still in the edit command. It hasn't escaped out. And the reason why is now that we have polylines, we can do all these things. We can close it, decurve it, fit it, join it, reverse the direction, spline it give it a width. Okay, I'm not going to show you all these. The ones that we usually use here is the join command. So we're going to hit join. Okay, and it says enter a fuzz distance. In other words, it wants to know if your your polyline, your your line segments don't join at exactly the same coordinate, and they won't because the way map floating point math works. It wants to know at what distance, what's the maximum distance you want it to jump the gap. So I'm going to say one, one foot. Okay, and it'll tell you I added five segments to your polyline, and but we're still see we're still in the command. So now we can hit W for width, and we can say give that a width of a half a foot. So now it actually has a width, okay, which we almost never do. By the way, in my shop, this is not how you control the thickness of the lines that plot. We do that with the CTB file. Okay, so now if we hit enter, we're out of the command. You'll notice now when I click, I don't have a bunch of individual line segments. Now I have a single entity, it's called a polyline. This is called a, a LW polyline or a lightweight polyline because it's not 3D. So the, ver the vertices don't have 
elevations on them. If you want one of those, you got to go draw 3D polyline, different video. Okay, so let's run the offset command now. Let me show you the dif dis difference. So we're going to do an offset still 40 feet. But now, look at that. See, I don't have to uh, go in and use the fillet command to clean up all those loose ends. In fact, we can say uh, modify, edit polyline, and we can say width zero, and now I'm back down to zero width, and I got my polyline there, okay? So polylines are super helpful, especially when you're doing things like, um, uh, when you wanna do an offset of, a, of a, a linear feature that has multiple segments. And uh, by the way, polylines can uh, do support curves. So uh, let me show you that. So let's just uh, put a radius in here. So I'm gonna use my fillet command to do that. So we're gonna put a couple 20 foot curves in here and you'll notice now I can go to modify, uh, edit polyline, and oop, let me try that again, multiple. And I can select those curves with my line segments, those circular arcs, and they will be included in the polyline. So we're going to say, yeah, turn them into polylines. We're going to join them. And you can see now the curves are included. By the way, if you go to and join segments into a polyline and it, it doesn't join properly, it's uh, probably the problem is probably hit your curves. That's where, where you usually have problems. Okay. Um, so let me just, let me give you a quick example of that. So let's say we got a segment here and for some reason we got a gap. Okay, and we don't see it. It's too small to see, maybe. Okay, so let's look at what happens when we go to join with a gap that's bigger than our fuzz distance. We we'll do the same thing we did before, but now we've got that gap in there. Okay, so we're gonna say turn them into polylines, join them with a fuzz distance of one. Okay, and you can see now what it does is it creates two separate polylines because this gap was too big. So to fix that, you gotta fix the gap and then rerun the join command to join those together. All right. um, now, sometimes you just you get some line segments even though there isn't a gap. Uh, BricsCAD or Carlson Survey just gets buggy and it will not join. Uh, so sometimes what you have to do is you gotta, you gotta trace a polyline over the top. Um, that doesn't happen very often, but I have had it occasionally. Okay. All right, now there are a lot of other things you can do with polylines. Uh, the last thing I wanna just show you is if you come here to your properties dialog, you can click on vertices and you can actually trace through the vertices. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's given a little X at whatever our current vertices is. Okay, and, it'll, and down here it's giving you those coordinates. Okay, so you can actually move through and you can change these if you want. So we can make that 500 and it'll move. So uh, that's pretty handy. Now there's a lot of other things you can do with polylines. We'll do some other videos. Uh, we've got the CAD Power tool set here, and it's got a whole set of um, a whole set of uh, tools that you can use for polylines that we'll talk about. But polylines are a super powerful tool, and I want to make sure that Mike and my other drafters know how to use them. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and it is helpful. Thanks for watching.